Buen Camino. Beautiful morning scene. The mountains, the cows, finally off the road. Welcome to day six. Wow, what a charming morning. I'm loving it. Just a picturesque, enchanting countryside with cows and horses, and sheep and goats. You can hear the little bells. Beautiful light, dry, sunny. I hope relatively flat. I think it's about 20 kilometers <laughs> today, 20 kilometers, and uh, staying in because of the bed race out here on the Camino del Norte, a tiny little albergue. I got the last bed again. I called yesterday. Do you have a bed? One, only. <laughs> I'll take it. And it feels weird to have my bag sent ahead. It feels great on my body not to have that heavy 20 plus pounds. I noticed that my uh, my feet and legs were really feeling it. Jumping straight into this Camino, coming from cold, snowy Wisconsin where it's flat, there's no incline or decline to practice on. Not that I gave myself time to practice, I booked a ticket and came to Spain in like five days. <laughs> Just that kind of decision. But um, yeah, I was going from snow boots to uh, flip-flops and some steep inclines and declines. So it's gonna be a beautiful morning. I'm excited to share my adventure with you. Buen Camino. That one's not so happy. It's okay, guys. Everything is so breathtaking. Wow, Camino Gasmic. What a stunning view to have on your right. Oh my goodness, this day is so awesome already. Well, why not? Get my feet in the drink. At least a little water. Ooh, yeah, that's cold. That was good. Good for the blisters I popped. Beautiful. Wow. I wish you could smell this video. Let's see if I can describe this explosion of eucalyptus see which is right here on my right all these floral bouquets and citrus blossoms with a symphony of birds oh my goodness how does this day get any better well I can imagine less foot pain and some delicious food this is one of the best days walks that I've ever experienced Oh my goodness, and this is my seventh pilgrimage. Oh, so if you want to take the northern route, do this day and hopefully you'll get the glorious weather that I'm getting. I left the town of Yanis. I'm going about 20 short kilometers to a tiny village called Pineres. There's only one albergue, there's like nothing there, but um, <laughs> I'm on a Camino High, Camino Gasm. It is just absolutely Glorious, this is gonna be a long video because I wanna film everything and share it with you. Finally found something open to eat. Charming little village. Met up with some of my fellow pilgrim friends. This has just been such a wonderful day, wow.
Super Mercado, the village before where I'm staying, I'm getting a little groceries, which I have to truck in there, but I saw this cheese and jamon. Oh my goodness, see, see, see. Waiting for me here is my bag. Why they? She made it. So good news on the bag transport. Plot twist. I checked out this little place that I was going to stay in and it was just a hole in the wall, tiny room, no ventilation for eight people with like one toilet and one shower. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. So I put on my backpack and walked another kilometer uphill. Now I'm at the top of this hill with the church. It's actually a beautiful view. Sea that way, mountain that way, 36 beds. Right now there's only uh, four of us here. And I thought, this is, this is where I'm supposed to be. Sometimes I change my mind. Yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be. Here are the views behind. Beautiful mountains from the church. We've got the Bay of Biscay over there. And this one comes with an albergue kitty. This kitty's really chill. I've been petting it. I'm waiting to check in right now. Thank you for taking this journey with me. Stay tuned for tomorrow's Adventure Day 7. Bye, Camino.